Hello, Heather Broadbent here, and welcome to day one of the Divine Double Stuff Challenge. All right, so today we're actually going to be discussing double stops. What exactly are double stops and an exercise to get you going on how to play two strings at once with the best tone possible, okay? So, double stops are when you play two strings at the same time. So when you're tuning your violin, if you tune uh, from your A, you tune your D to your open A, you're tuning via double stops, okay? So a double stop is basically when you're playing two strings at once. A double stop can be open strings. A double stop can have only one string with a finger on it, like this. And a double stop can also consist of two fingers, one on each string. Okay, so what we're gonna be discussing today is actually how to play a double stop with great tone. If there's one thing I can just flip a switch and have all violinists be able to do, is to make sure that they're playing double stops with the best tone possible. And I'll give you the biggest tip to help you with your double stops right here and now. Never ever push, ever. When violinists go to play a double stop, in their mind they're thinking, okay, if I push, I'll get the sound of the two strings at once. But it's all about balance. It's all about balance, balancing on those two strings, okay? So in order to play it beautifully, we need to be balanced on the two strings, not pushing. Because pushing on the violin doesn't produce a good sound ever. Uh, unless you're playing some modern piece and they're really asking for some ugly sounds with squeaky doors or something like that and you have to push on the instrument. But we never, as violinists, push. We always pull the sound out. And the same with double stops. We're going to be pulling the sound out. So I'm going to give you an exercise for you to practice. First, what I want you to be aware of are the floors on the violin, what I call the floors. Okay, so we have uh, the A floor, and this is what I call it the elbow elevator. And this elevator has different floors. So that's the A floor, that's the D floor, G floor, you see my elbow go up. And then if we go to the E floor, it's down here, okay? So we have these different floors on the violin for our elbow to be able to control what string we're playing on, okay? Now, when we are playing double stops, when we play the A and the D together, then we are on what I call the A, D floor. And that's, so you can find your A floor, you can find your D floor, and the A, D floor is right between the two. Okay, so that's the first exercise I want you to do, is to experiment with your elbow, play around with your elbow elevator on your different floors, A floor, D floor, and then find the floor in the middle, the A, D floor. And also go ahead and find your A, E floor by playing A, E, and then your A, E floor. And remember to balance, never push. The G floor, the D floor, and the G, D floor. Okay? So that's your first exercise to get introduced into the world of playing double stops. And the tip to always remember, just file it away in your head, never push, ever. Okay, so now that we are familiar with the floor, what we're going to do is be able to play a long whole bow from frog to tip. And we're first off gonna just do this on one string, because <laughs> it's hard enough to do it on one string and then we need to do it on two. So let's go ahead and pull a beautiful bow, frog to tip on the open A. Okay, so frog to tip and tip to frog. You do wanna make sure your bows are going straight, okay? So we don't want any crooked bows, because if we have crooked bows, then we're not gonna have a good tone. All right, so keep your bows nice and straight. If you want, so you can do that on one string, then you're ready to go to your AD4, find your AD4, and now, again, start the frog, go to the tip, playing the two strings. Okay, now, I know I make it look pretty easy. Um, I've been playing the violin for a very long time, pretty much all my life. So I want you to not be discouraged if you try that and find that you're not able to sustain two strings at the same time throughout the bow from frog to tip. Don't be discouraged. You're learning, okay? And that's what you're going to explore is how to be able to keep that bow balanced from frog to tip on two strings. First, start off with the A and the D string, okay? Now, if you find, okay, you're pulling the bow and you 
find that you're only playing the D and you're not hearing the A, then you just need to drop your elbow a little bit. If you find that you're playing the A and not hearing the D, you need to raise your elbow a little bit. Okay? And you're going to find that as you go through that down, that down bow, all the way to the tip, that there might be some places where it does drop out, one string drops out, okay? Take note of exactly where that is happening and stop. Once you hear it, stop and adjust so you can get those two strings. Say it happens like here in the middle of the bow, then start just a little bit lower in the bow, not all the way at the frog, just a little bit lower so you can really isolate why this is happening and play the two strings at once, okay? So that is your next exercise in this video is to be able to play from frog to tip, open strings, two strings at once, A and D, D and G, and A and E. Now, you want to be able to sustain those two strings the whole time you're playing that down bow and that up bow. Now, you may find this is something that's gonna take a little bit longer to learn in one day, all right? But what this is, is giving you the opportunity to know what you need to study in order to play a gorgeous double stop. So give it a go today, journal your findings, and by the end of the day, if you're not able to play those two strings at once in a long bow, that's totally fine. Just take a note and say, okay, this is what's happening on these two strings and where it's happening, all right? And then when we go on to day two, just know that you can always return back to day one after you've finished the challenge. That's the beauty of this five-day challenge because it's not only for five days, it can sit with you in your violin journey and help you improve along the line, okay? So enjoy the exercises today, and I would love to see you come in the Facebook study group and show us a video of you playing long hole bows on the two strings. And don't worry if it's not perfect, this is a learning process, okay? And everybody there is all learning with you and are all at different levels. They might have a couple of tips to help you out, like maybe they had some issues, and this is what helped them be able to overcome it. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you in the Facebook study group. And then on day two of the challenge, we're gonna be exploring applying the left hand to this gorgeous foundation that you've set up with your bow. See you then, ciao.